Hi, everybody. Okay. So, we are doing two more sets of graphs today. Um, and it is going to take a little while to be able to do it. Pull my computer a little closer so you guys can actually hear me. Okay, I'm sorry, the sun has come up, so it's a little shadowy here, but hopefully you can see everything okay. So, um, you're gonna need data for this today, um, and we're gonna be doing two kinds of charts, Pareto, so that's uh, pronounced Pareto charts, kinda sounds like potato, but it's Pareto, that's an R. Um, and scatter plots, scatter plots you're probably familiar with, Pareto charts you probably are not. Um, so pause the video and write down this data so that you have it. Um, this is data from asking a hundred um, kindergartners um, what animal you like best, and their choices were cats, dogs, penguins, guinea pigs, or monkeys. So pause the video, write it down. Okay, I'm going to assume that you did that. I'm going to go down here. So Pareto charts is the seventh thing that we're doing. Um, you want to write down that this looks like a bar chart, a bar chart. Um, that the x-axis is qualitative data. Qualitative, remember, is things that aren't numbers, things that are labels. And it always goes highest to lowest. That's the most important thing that you need to know about Pareto charts. It always goes highest to lowest. And frequency is on the y-axis. So on this one, Let's see, we're going to make room for, and the bars uh, shouldn't go right next to each other this time. Shame it was weird, but true. So I'm making room for one, two, three, four, five spots in my chart, because there are five things that people voted on. And on the side, it looks like I need to go up to 45. So maybe I'll count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Again, sorry about the shadows. That's what I get for waiting until it's daylight outside to make a video in my kitchen. Okay. Remember, if you're, if I'm going too fast, you've just got to pause the video so you can catch up. So we always go highest to lowest. Um, so it looks like dogs came in first with 45%. So I'm going to draw a bar for dogs. Okay, and I'm going to write dogs on it so we know that dogs are that one. Second one is cats. Looks like cats came in at 30 There's cats. Notice I put dogs first, not cats. Even though cats came first on my information, I know that dogs are higher than cats according to the numbers, so the highest number comes in first. Then we've got penguins at 15. And then monkeys at eight. And then finally, guinea pigs at two. Now, the thing is that if you have something that's so small that you can't write what it is, you can always write underneath what it is. Okay, and then we need lots of labels. So this is types of animals. On the side, we're going to write frequency. And then I'm also going to write a label for my graph, which is, um, I guess, which type of animal. Kids like best. And this is how you make a Pareto chart. 
It's important that you didn't just watch this video, that you actually made an example in your notebook because remember, we're doing 12 different kinds of charts this chapter and they get confusing after a while. It's hard to remember which one's which. So it's really nice to have every time an example of what it should look like and this right here, it looks like a bar chart. The x-axis is the qualitative data. That's the names or labels. It's always highest to lowest and the y-axis is frequency. All right, turn down my phone. People are messaging me about, hmm, what would they possibly be messaging me about today? Oh, that's right, the election. Okay. All right, pause it if you need to pause it, because it's about to go. All right. Next up, we've got scatter plots. All right, I'm going to pause the, or you should pause the video for a little bit to write down the following things. Um, scatter plots is the eighth time type of graph we've done. Um, this is the data we're going to plot temperature outside versus ice cream sales at a place that sells ice cream. Um, it looks like dots plotted on axes and the X axis is one set of data and the Y axis is the other set of data. And it doesn't matter um, which set of data goes on either one because um, we don't know if they're correlated or not or what would cause the other or not. It's actually something called uh, correlation versus causation. Um, correlation just means that two things look like they're related and causation means that they're related because one makes the other to be, um, one causes the other to happen. Looks like Zandy just came upstairs so we might get some Zandy talk in here. Hoping not, but anyway, pause the de pause the thing so you can write down the numbers. Okay. I think a garbage truck went by, and he was very excited about that. Scatter plots definitely need to be done in graph paper, um, without a doubt. And so, you need to make sure that you have graph paper for this one. Um, you should have grabbed a graph paper from me um, so that you would have some at home. Um, if you, for some reason, do not have graph paper at home, then print some out on the internet um, or ask your parents to get you graph paper. Um, if you absolutely don't have any graph paper or any way to get some, then make sure that you um, email me and let me know about that. I don't want to be surprised when I see your stuff and you do not have it on graph paper. All right, one second. I really gotta actually find my, um, my ruler before I start doing these things. Okay, oh, a terrifying ruler that I have at home. Uh, some sort of engineering ruler, I think. It is straight up sharp and pointy and scary, and it is a triangle, so. All right, so this is almost always going to be in that positive axis, so you don't have to draw like all of the quadrants or anything like that, just the positive one. You got the x-axis and the y-axis. Um, I think I'm going to put, let's see, I think I'm going to put ice cream sales on the side here. Definitely important that you label it. And on the bottom will be temperature. Then my label for the graph will be ice cream sales versus temperature. All right, now it's important before you start that you make sure that you know, um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Zandy screaming in the background, but he is. Um, so it's important that you know um, what your um, 